How animals care for their babies from the National Geographic by Robert Hirschland. Ducklings follow their parents closely. Can you find all 14 babies? Some animals, like these monkeys, live together in large groups. Grown-ups and older brothers and sisters often share the job of protecting the babies. Many creatures make nests for their babies. Maybe you have seen a robin's nest or a squirrel's nest, but there are many nests you can't see. They are hidden under the ground or inside trees. A European rabbit collects grass for her underground nest. The grass makes a soft bed for her babies. The northern flicker, a woodpecker, makes its nest inside a tree. It uses its sharp bill to chip an entrance hole. Then it hollows out a nest. Some animals lay eggs and care for them. Animals may, may, may take care of their babies even before they hatch. An anemone fish cleans its eggs with its mouth. A dusky salamander protects its eggs. This salamander lives on wet soil near streams. A trumpeter swan sits on her eggs and keeps them warm. She gets up to turn them. This keeps the temperature even. Some animal babies are helpless, but others are not. A newborn white-footed mice... Newborn white-footed mice have pink bodies with no fur. Their eyes and ears are closed. They must depend on their mother. She lifts the babies gently to move them in the nest. A mountain goat has a full coat of hair at birth. It can see and hear. It even follows its mother on steep slopes just a few hours after it is born. S most kinds of baby birds are fed by their parents. A baby flamingo stays warm under its mother's wing as it takes food from its father's bill. Sometimes both parents find food for their babies. Mountain bluebirds nest in old woodpecker holes or other hidden places. To feed the young, they catch insects all day long. When a parent returns to the nest, the babies open their mouths wide. The adult pokes the food down the baby's throats. When both parents are together, you can tell them apart easily. The father's feathers are more blue. A mother baboon nurses her baby with milk from her body. Have you ever seen very young puppies or kittens or hamsters? Like all mammals, they drink their mother's milk. Some animals nurse their young. A female moose stands as she nurses her young. The mother, called a cow moose, looks around for danger while her twin babies drink. As the calves grow older, they will eat leaves, twigs, and water plants, just as their parents do. The moose is the largest kind of deer. It's time for these brown bear cubs to begin finding their own food. They learn how by copying their mother. They follow her as she catches a fish and brings it out of the river to eat. Animals that live in groups often help each other. A lioness licks the coat of one of her cubs. She helps it stay clean and healthy. Lions live in family groups called prides. An adult baboon picks through the hair of a young baboon. Monkeys spend a lot of time grooming each other this way. It helps them feel close to the others in their group. Sometimes animal parents need to move their babies. Why do animals move their babies? A mother elk gently pushes her tired calf to cross a river. They may find food on the other side. Baby wolf spiders ride on their mother's body for safety as she hunts for insects to eat. A lioness carries her cub to a new hiding place so enemies won't find it. She also takes it where there is food. Animals protect their young in different ways. Fuzzy loon chicks can swim just hours after they hatch. After a day, they can even dive like their parents. But during their first three weeks, chicks often ride on their parents' backs. There they stay safe and warm. A loon may flap its wings and rise up on the water to frighten an enemy away from its babies. Loons live on lakes and nest along the shore. 
In the spring and summer, they make loud, sad-sounding calls. Some birds fool their enemies rather than fight them. The killdeer lays its eggs on the open ground. Among pebbles or gravel, their speckled eggs are hard to see. What if a fox or you should come along? Fluttering along the ground, the killdeer calls out and pretends its wings is broken. The fox, or you, will probably follow the bird and never see the eggs. Chimpanzees live in groups in the rainforest, woodlands, and grasslands of Africa. Sometimes there are only females and young in a group. The young play together but stay near their mothers. A chimpanzee may stay with its mother for as long as seven years. At first, the baby holds on to its mother. Even when it is big enough to run around, it often rides on her back. It still sleeps with her in a nest in the trees. Parents stay near while their babies rest. African elephant mothers help look after each other's young. Sleepy babies take naps, carefully watched by the adults. In Arctic waters, white whales called belugas come to the surface to breathe. A mother supports and protects her tired baby. A young porcupine, which has sharp quills soon after birth, leaves its mother after eight weeks. Sooner or later, all baby animals grow up and make their way into the world. That was How Animals Care from Their Babies from the Books for Young Explorers and National Geographic Society by... Roger Hirschland.